story tonight. New details about the FBI raid at Congressman Henry Cuellar's home in Laredo. We're learning why law enforcement might have been there and what this investigation has to do with a foreign government. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Houston explains. Source tells CBS News the FBI is gathering evidence for a D.C. grand jury looking into possible crimes involving American businessmen and the oil-rich country of Azerbaijan. Very honestly, we need to do our job. Congressman Henry Cuellar co-chairs the Azerbaijan Congressional Caucus. He's met with the ambassador several times, even in San Antonio. Cuellar also took 3,500 in campaign contributions from a man who broke ethics laws when that man covered up information about a 2013 congressional trip to Azerbaijan. Cuellar wasn't on that plane, but he'd visited the country before with the same man. So this is a really big deal. Ryan Patrick is one of three former U.S. attorneys, all Trump appointees, who tell Kins 5 Cuellar is probably not just a witness in this case. The decision to do this at this time with early voting starting in four weeks, um, is it, this is either an incredibly serious allegation or a very fast-moving um, investigation. The FBI does not openly investigate elected officials without intense deliberation, especially in election years. It's possible the attorney general himself signed off on the raid. Very likely that um, whoever is in charge of the investigation consulted with the various, very highest uh, offices in the Department of Justice before doing that. The attorneys say the search indicates the DOJ had probable cause. Reason to believe investigators would find evidence of a crime in Cuellar's home. Searches generally come after longer periods of undercover investigations, the attorneys say, though this doesn't necessarily mean the FBI believes Cuellar did something wrong. Getting probable cause to go into someone's house and search it is very far away from convicting someone of a crime, so we do have to be extremely careful about making assumptions. The congressman has already said he'll cooperate with any investigation. In light of these new developments today, we reached out to him and his office to see if they could update us. We haven't heard back. Keep in mind, early voting starts in just four weeks. I'm Matt Houston, Kins 5 Eyewitness News.